friends, welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I am glad you are here. If you watched my 1970s pattern video part one, you will know that I'm here all by myself. And so if there's any weird framing, um, I, I'm sure the lighting is terrible. I didn't even get the lights out. Um, Troy and Wilson are not here right now. And so I'm kind of doing this by myself and I pretty much don't know how to do it. All I know how is to do is, all I know what, all I know how to do is blab about sewing and fabric and patterns. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm here today to show you some new vintage fabrics that are in the shop right now. And they're all spring and summer sewing fabrics. So I hope that you get excited about some of them and that they might inspire you um, to make something. This first one I wanna show you just as part of, just to be fun um, and to show you how you know, shopping estate sales and auctions and thrift stores and garage sales for vintage fabric is fun for me. I mean, I love it. I love every second of it, really. Um, the only thing I don't like is if the place is really, really dirty, um, you know, and then I'm afraid I'm going to get hantavirus or something. But um, other than that, you know, um, I can handle pretty much a wild variety of circumstances. Um, this fabric I bought because... Um, it, I think it's, I think it's pure linen and it's a beautiful quality linen and I love the color. I love this color of linen in the summer with black. And I could see when I was photographing it that it had been marked on and pressed and hemmed. Okay. And then they took the hem out. I think it was just hand hemmed because there's not that much thread in there where they pulled that out. And I could see that while I was taking pictures, but I didn't spread the whole thing out because I don't need to spread the whole thing out for taking pictures. And then Troy measured it and wrote it down how much we had. And when I was folding it back up, I realized <laughs> that this fabric has appeared in a Christmas pageant. I'm pretty sure it's, it's very long. This was clearly for Joseph or a shepherd, um, somebody. And so I'm not going to put it in the store. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it and dry it and I will work around this big neckline hole and uh, make something out of it. Heck, I could bind this. They did a nice job cutting it out. And make myself a linen poncho. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off because it hasn't been washed yet. And, you know, you don't really want to wear, uh, well, any fabric, even brand new fabric. It's got all kinds of chemicals and sizing on it. Um, and you don't really want to be breathing all that in. So, but that does happen. And, um, and it's okay, you know, as long as you didn't pay a ton of money for it, um, it's okay when these things happen. And I usually try to figure out a way to work around it. I've had very few pieces of fabric that were complete losses. I'm trying to actually think, um, there's always something you can do. There's still probably two full yards of this fabric available. Um, so that's that one. Now this next one. Troy scoped this one out and he showed it to me and I was gaga over it. You guys, this fabric is exquisite. It would make a gorgeous Chanel style jacket for the spring and summer. It is a beautiful, woven, incredibly drapey fabric. I love it. It is a little bit dressier than I really need for my lifestyle. Now, I do want to make a Chanel style jacket sometime. Look at that drape. This would make a dress, a skirt, a jacket. Um, it's beautiful. I do want to make a Chanel style jacket at some point in my sewing career. 
but I don't think I'm quite ready to commit to that amount of labor for one garment just yet. I think I could probably do it. I just don't know that I'm willing to commit the time to it right now. But let me tell you how much is here. Okay, Troy's calling this brown check. This fabric is 60 inches wide and two and a half, and there's two and a half yards of it. Okay, so my guess, my best guess on this, I'm going to say cotton, rayon, silk, or a combination of those. I don't know but I do know that it is absolutely beautiful and it's going to make someone a stunning garment. Ooh, so pretty. This next one, this is just pure fun. This is from 1988. This is a polyester crepe and um, it's just fun. It's bright and sunny. It's weighty and drapey. I picture this as being uh, I picture this in an Eve dress, just um, super fun, super floaty, super bright. It just, I, I don't buy a ton of polyester, but sometimes it just charms me. You know, not because I'm willing to wear these, this bright of color, I'm not, um, but because it's beautiful. And like I've said before, I don't have to want to wear it to think that it's beautiful. My fabric and color choices are very narrow and I could not run a successful fabric store if I only sold what I was willing to wear, which is not that much because I just feel more comfortable in less busy and vivid patterns and, and fabrics um, and colors. It's That's just me. That's what I feel good in. Um, this is copyright M Day fabric print M Day fabric print from 1988. It's either from 1988 or it is print number 1988. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. Let me tell you how much there is. Okay, I'm thinking this is red flowers. Yeah, red flowers. This is 44 inches wide and there's two and a half yards. So I don't know if that's enough for an Eve dress, but um, something beautiful and fun and flowy and springy, I think would be ideal with that. Okay, this next fabric, while I have the book out, Troy called it Black Flowers. There are six yards of this. So this is gonna be available by the yard in the store and it is 42 inches wide. I left this tag on there. This is not how much I paid for it. Um, I left it on there in case any of you um, recognized it and could say where it came from. I'm saying, I'm thinking um, 90s or 80s for this one. It's probably 100% cotton. It's Cranston Printworks Schwartz Liebman Textiles and it's made in the USA and it's just a gorgeous, fun, um, I'm gonna, this is a, let me get one. This is a quilting weight cotton. So, you know, any kind of dress that's a little bit structured, like a macaron dress, um, something that doesn't need to be light and flowy. This is just super, super fun. So many summer dresses could be made out of this. Um, yeah, that's just super cute. So there's that one, six yards of that one. So a lot of that. If you um, are a mommy of girls and you wanted to do mommy and me dresses, there's probably enough for both of you there, or maybe even three of you, depending on how um, big your littles are. This one we have tan linen. Nope, not that one. This is the off-white linen. Okay, this one's 45 inches wide and there's two and a half yards. And um, I think this is a linen. It's very stiff. It has not been washed. It's brand new. Um, it's gorgeous. Just the colors. 
just that classic linen. You could make, I don't know if it would make pants. It, it depends. When it came out of the washer, you could tell better, the washer and the dryer. I definitely wash and dry my linen. Um, but this would definitely make any kind of a dress or skirt. And we'll just go with every single thing in your spring and summer wardrobe. That would make a tunic, skirt, dress. It would make a jacket. I love it. Great basic. This next one is a super fine uh, striped shirting. There's three yards of it. It is 48 inches wide and it is beautiful. This would make um, any kind of a tunic or um, a shirt dress, a men's shirt. Now, the stripes look like that kind of stripe that is shiny, but it isn't really shiny. It's raised like ribbon. Can you see that? It's really, really lovely. Oh, I'm seeing some spots in here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to wash this, you guys. I'll go ahead and talk about it. And then I'm gonna have to wash and dry this and see how it comes out. I don't believe this has ever been washed before. Um, I believe it is very high quality. I am thinking that it is 100% cotton lawn or even Batiste. Look at that selvage. And I really like it, but there are some problems here that I did not notice. Look, there's a spot there. Even though I took pictures of it and folded it back up after Troy measured it. This one's gonna go in the wash. If you see it in the store, that means it came clean. If you don't see it in the store, that means it didn't. And um, I'm gonna figure out something to do with it here at home because I love this and I think this would make a gorgeous spring or summer top dress or skirt. So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping that if those stains don't come out that there's enough for me to work around and get something out of this because I really love it and I would totally wear that. Those, um, that, uh, the way that the stripes are woven in, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fiber and, um, texture and color person. A lot of people go for fabrics based on like the print and, um, the color. I go for fiber and for interesting texture and for color. And this one really, um, as the um, Brits like to say, checks all my boxes. They say that all the time, checks all my boxes. So this one really checks all my boxes. And um, so love that. If, if, if those stains come out, stains come out so much, um, they really do when I've bought fabric and it's got something on it and I just wash it and it comes out and just fine. So we'll see if that does. This is another summer linen. This one is, I guess he's calling this vertical stripe. Yeah, this is a vertical stripe. Um, there's two yards of this, it's 60 inches wide. Who does not want a tunic or a pair of drawstring linen pants made out of this, I ask you? No one. No one doesn't want that, right? It's beautiful. It is a little bit sheer, but you could totally do these for beach pants over a bathing suit. And once this was washed and dried, you know, if you had on nude underwear, this could totally work. And remember, just because something doesn't necessarily work for work doesn't mean it's not going to work for play. It's got like a mustard, a rusty brown, a denim blue, a gray. It's got both colored stripes and woven stripes. This could make a shirt dress. I love this very, very much. This is right up my alley. I would totally wear this. The stripe is along the selvage. 
So again, pants, heck, this would make great pajama pants. Think of how comfortable that would be and then it wouldn't matter if they were see-through at all. Anyway, love that. Beautiful drape. I'm gonna say this is a linen, cotton, rayon something. Linen, cotton, rayon. I have not done a burn test. I don't know that it's 100% natural, but it feels fantastic and it's beautiful. This one's hilarious, okay? Let me, let me see how much of this is. There's a bunch. Um, flounder, this is the flounder fabric. This is 89 inches wide, 89 inches. And there are five yards of it. I think that this must be a sheeting to be that wide, but this is, this is fabric. There is no, this was never a sheet. There's no sewing marks anywhere on this, but check this out. This is a tribal tropical flounder print. Look at those flounder. Are they not the cutest? Who knew that flounder could be cute? Oh my gosh. When I look at this fabric, I think, Husband and wife, the wife is wearing an adorable sundress with a full skirt and the husband is wearing um, a, like a Cuban style um, short sleeve shirt, you know, that Havana, you know what I'm talking about. They're usually solid colors and they have the embroiderer down the front. Of course, you wouldn't do that with this. I'm just talking about the silhouette. I think that would be to die for. I mean, what else are you going to do with this much fabric? You could make little boy short shirts out of this. You could make, you know, dresses, lots of little linty bits. Anyway, how fun is that? Super fun. I'm saying that this is either 100% cotton or it might have a little bit of poly in it. Um, don't know, love it, think it's adorable. I would love to see what someone made out of this stuff because whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. And then our last one is a white linen weave. Okay. This could be linen. This could be all linen. Um, this is 45 inches wide and there are three yards of it. This is a nice weighty fabric. Perfect for a dress. This is heavy enough for pants. Again, you have to worry about, you know, the sheerness of them, but you, you, can, you can deal with that however you think is best. Um, I would, I just think a white dress made out of this would be exquisite, a beautiful pleated skirt, um, something like an Upton dress, which is a classic fit and flare dress, or even more like a classic shirt dress. Um, would be gorgeous out of this. It's got a chunky linen weave. It's nice. It's just a nice fabric. Okay, so that's what we have today. All of these are available for you in the store right now. Um, these are going to go for $5 a yard. The houndstooth um, suiting, that's going to be more than $5 a yard. I'm not sure exactly how much I'll charge for it, but I will charge more for that. Um, if any of you are dying to have the poncho linen, <clears throat> if you want me to list that for some reason, you love the color, um, the quality is fantastic, um, I will go ahead and list it for you, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep it for myself because I think it's beautiful and I, I definitely can sew with it, but I'm just not sure that we should put fabric in the store that has a giant, you know, neck hole cut out of it. Anyway, and I'll get that um, striped shirting washed and dried and if you see it in the store, that means it's perfect. And if you don't see it in there, that means I was unable to get those stains out. Anyway, I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Bye.